So this problem here is uh, 1480 running sum of a 1D array on leak code. So it says given an array of nums, we define a running sum of an array as running sum at index i is equal to the sum of nums at index 0 all the way up to nums at index i. So basically just going through the test case here. So say we're given this, uh, what's our result going to be? So the first number, so, so at each i in the result array, it's going to be the running sum at that index. So what's the running sum at index zero? Well, it's just one, because it's the only number we've seen so far. And then at the next one, it's going to be this one plus the two. So it's gonna be three. And then at this three, it's this three plus the three. So it's gonna be six. And the next one will be 10 following that logic as well. So basically we're just uh, incrementing the running sum. And then at that index, uh, we put it in the result, whatever the running sum is. So if we delete this, so we're gonna need two things here. So we're going to need a result array, which is simply gonna be an int array of the same size of nums. And then we know we can just return that. And then we also want to go through our nums. So we can store the running sum in our result array or we can just take the easy way out and keep a running sum, which is currently zero. So let's do it that way because it's easier to show. And then what do we want to do with these nums here? So the first thing, we want to keep the running sum. So we have to increment sum by the current number that we're on. And then what do we want to do with the result? Well, we want to store the current running sum at that index. So we can go res i is equal to sum. And then this is going to run fine and everything. And yeah, so th this one's really straightforward. Uh, it's one of the easier ones, but I hope I could help out. Yeah, thank you for watching.